Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to migrate a power center domain from host A to a host B when there is a site key in place. The agenda for the video is uh, first we are going to have two hosts, right? The let's say host A is the source where the power center domain is up and running and host B the target one where the host that we are going to make migrate this power center domain from host A we need to gather the backup domain we do that by the info setup backup domain command line it generates a mhap file and also get the site key file In the host B we install the power center software and create a dummy domain uh, we must create this using a different database or a, at least a different schema uh, to avoid override the, the information from host A. We need to restore the backup domain by running the info setup restore domain command line. After that, we need to run the info setup migrate encryption key to sync the site keys from the host A with the site key from host B and run the info setup update gateway node to update the node, node meta.xml file if um, any additional change is required. Let me show you through an example now. Okay, so here I'm the host A, the source and I'm going to, under the info home ISP bin directory, I'm going to run this info setup backup domain, the domain name, database user. Remember, it's the database user on and off the power center domain tables. The password, backup file, can put any name, the details about the database address, database type, and data service. It just run fine. As you can see, the file has been created. So this is the power center domain backup. I'm going to move this file in addition with the site key file, which is available under the config keys directory, info home ISP config keys directory. So these are the two files that I need to gather from the source environment. Now let's install it in the Install power center in the target environment and create a, dem a dummy domain to make our work easier. Let me show you that. Okay, this is my target environment. Um, I just got the installer. Uh, here, my my host is a Linux box. In, uh, this in both environments. And as you can see here, this is a different host, and I'm going to run the install. So the installation just moved forward. I'm going to install. Uh, I'm going to select to run the Informatica services. In your, in your case, I strongly recommend you to run the pre-installation checker. In my case here, I'm just going to ignore it to make it faster, the video faster. I agree with the terms and conditions. Okay. Install Informatica services. No, I don't want Kerberos. It enter. I select the license key. Okay. Just select the license key. I'm going to install it in this location. 
condition information, hit enter, so it's going to install it. After the installation, I recommend you to create a power center dummy domain uh, because that's going to make your work easier because you don't need to create those uh, additional files like um, the site key file or even the encryption key file uh, node meta.xml file um, the key store file so all those files they are created here by the installer you don't need to manually create all of them as you can see installation keeps moving it should finish in some minutes installation keeps moving and now should finish soon now I'm going to create the domain a dummy domain with the same pretty much the same information as the original one but in a different database schema I'm going to choose a different port number As you could see here, it just create the key store file. Otherwise, if you don't do by the installer, you need to do it manually. My database is going to be Oracle. So I just select the Oracle database, the, the database user. As you can see, it's a different one from the source environment in a different database, in a different instance. So this one must be a different database user. The database itself might be the same one, but the Oracle database user schema must be a different one. Now I just type the keyword for the encryption key. Yeah, this is the default location. I'm going to accept it. Then it provides this information encryption key will be generated under this location with the file name site key so on you must save this all this information so here I just uh, select I type the same domain name this makes my work easier the host name is a different one the node name is and underscore zero one the same one as the original port number I'm going to select a different one I'm going to use the default administrator user I tap it type it a password no no I don't want that so it's creating the power center domain it's defining remember that when we define the domain it also creates the node meta.xml file. So the power center installation in the host two uh, in the host B just completed and also the we created a dummy domain here. It's available under this port. Let's check it out. That's good as you can see here the domain is available and of course this is a new domain we don't have the information now I need to shut it down and restore the backup from the original environment okay so here in the host bin I moved the PC domain backup file that I took from host A and I move it here under the ISP bin directory and also I moved the site key from host A to host B 
and just rename it here to underscore old it is available under the info home isp config keys directory now let me restart the backup so i'm going to restart the power center domain run the info setup restart domain database address listener port database user this is the target database user the password database type data service backup file is the name of the file that i i got from the source dash f is for force because it already had the the database user already has a dummy domain that i just created and also to clear the dash ca to clear the, clear the node association let's run it okay so the info setup restore domain command just work it fine and i run the info setup my gate migrate encryption key which faded i need to add this additional information the lock location of the site key and site key underscore old files let me run it okay just finished so as you can see here i just started the power center domain in the host b as you can see here we can see have one test which was created in the host a the source system let's take a look here in the security and we okay we have all those files so as you can see the restore just work it fine just some additional information here um, if for some reason it doesn't work when you just restore try to uh, do not use that dash ca uh, parameter in the restore command sometimes it work it helps and also make sure that when you take the power center domain backup the in the source system the domain is is down just to avoid any problem with the information the power center domain tables okay today you have learned how to migrate a power center domain from a host a to a host b would you love to hear from you please get in touch by sport videos at informatica.com or by Twitter, Infosport. Thank you.